In essence, what that means is, why do you believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Why do you believe in a hereafter? Why do you believe in this religion of yours? Do you believe in this religion of yours? And do you believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as your Lord? Because you want something to happen for you in this world? And let's face it, it happens a lot of times. Where the only time I will increase in my dua and my supplication, the only time I will pray more, the only times I'll find myself more dedicated and devout in the masjid is when I need something from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this world. When I want something, when I've got a big test coming up, when I've got something coming up with my job, when I've got something, you know, I, I really want to marry somebody. That's when all of a sudden we find ourselves making dua and we find ourselves praying and we find ourselves coming to the masjid and we find ourselves becoming more devout. I need something from you, O oh Allah, in this world. As soon as you give it to me, I will go back to my heedlessness. I will go back to my ghafla and I'll wait for something else to come up. And then when I need something else, I'll come back to you. And that's an insincere relationship. That's an insincere attachment to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Where the only times you come to Allah is when you want something. Not that we shouldn't make dua for matters of this dunya. We should. We should say, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adab al-nar. Allah tells us in this world that we should ask for the good of this world, the good of the hereafter, and to be protected from punishment in the hereafter as well. وتبقى لجذب الخريف ربيعا بهي الخصال بهي ضثا